Well, I graduated from our college in 1989 in Belfast, and I became an illustrator pretty much immediately after I graduated. Went to live in New York City and started doing illustration work over in New York. And since then, I've been publishing books for around 30 years. What happened was that I, um, I got a phone call from Maggie Doyle to say that illustration you did for me as a tester was sent away and Graphic has picked up on it and asked, would you be interested then in doing this book, Molly and the Stormy Sea? Now that's for the Welsh publisher, but we've been doing children's books within my publishing house for the last 12 years. So we've more or less been doing that for around 14 years. Well, I was illustrating books for a publisher in Wales called Cassell, and those were quite dark stories. And each time we did a story, it became a darker subject matter. I decided to sort of step back from that slightly. And I wanted to get involved with the myths and legends of Ireland. So I started to go down to UCD in Dublin and research the stories. And I decided on one called Gascioch na Bealtiúnia, the warrior of the green belt. And I thought, this is the story I want to illustrate. So I applied for funding to get the book published. But the funder said, you can't just be a, an illustrator. You have to have a company. So I then set up Antahaj War, which is Dragonfly Press. And since then, we've been publishing our own books. It's a, it's a great story. It's part of a five book series. And this is the second in the series. The first in the book was Molly in the Stormy Sea. So Molly and the Whale is about a whale that becomes beached in, on her island. And it's about how the, the, the people of the island come together as a community try and save the whale. I'm always embracing technology. So the ideas for Molly obviously came from the subject matter of the text provided by Malagy Doyle. But then my, my techniques have involved watercolour and pencil. And on this occasion I've incorporated the use of the iPad as well. And the ideas more or less come from the knowledge of Donegal, the Pritch Island, the local landscapes, and the idea that humpback whales are often seen off the coast of Ireland.